Thank you. Welcome y'all here today. Uh, and I, I don't generally tend to be dramatic. I certainly know that you don't want to be dramatic this morning. However, I do want to say a few things. Personally, I did talk to the Commissioner of Public Health last night. If they have a presentation, five presentations, I'm going to do it just a minute. Hey, Dr. Brian, can you speak in the mic? Yeah, okay. Uh, can you brother? I got a slide presentation I'm going to go through, but there are a few things that I wanted to get off the slide presentation. I've got the opportunity to the Commissioner of State Public Commission last night to say so. So I'm going to say some things that are personal, but, but, but again, I don't tend to be dramatic. I've never in 40 years of practice of medicine quite experienced anything like we're seeing. We're seeing now it's more of our, I've been through lots of flu epidemics over the years, but this, this is different. The world is still interconnected. <clears throat> As of this morning, Georgia had 31 cases, no deaths. Florida has 29 cases, two deaths. Worldwide, 127,000 cases. The uh, mortality rate at worldwide at the moment is 3%. Uh, it, the, the world woke up to coronavirus yesterday. Who declared a pandemic, which is worldwide? Uh, we've been seeing things come out from Washington, of course, we, we've been hearing lots of things from the governor. But yesterday, I watched the book of the reality of the coronavirus and uh, the seriousness of the of potential seriousness of the problem. Um, with the WHO declared a global pandemic yesterday. Uh, all but six states have reported coronavirus. At least 38 Americans have died, 30 in Washington, four in California, two in Florida, one in New Jersey. Uh, the national, uh, the NBA had canceled all games as of this morning. You may have seen that on the news this morning. Uh, some famous actors, Tom Hanks, has got coronavirus. Uh, meanwhile, a growing list of universities have canceled study abroad. Universities, including Harvard, Yale, Duke, Princeton, and Cornell, are suspending classes and instead conducting lessons online. And Harvard uh, was also one of the universities that asked students to move out. Uh, Harvard students had been asked to move out of their houses and the first year of doing this. Interesting. Uh, I want to say this, highlight differences between coronavirus and flu. First, the speed of propagation is different. Uh, the coronavirus pneumonia seems to spread more slowly, but has a longer median incubation period. Patients transmit the virus at different times. Flu tend to uh, transmit and propagate within three to five days. Coronavirus can spread the virus 24 to 48 hours before they get the onset of symptoms. Uh, thirdly, the contagious power is different. Uh, with it, it, I've seen various statistics here. The contagious rate is somewhere between three and 10 times more than the flu. Fourth, the rate of severe illness is, is different. Dies at day to day, you can say that 80% of, of the coronavirus are 80% or mild to asymptomatic, 15 are severe, and 5% are very severe, and most of those are 80 years of age, uh, certainly over 60 years of age. The elderly and people with other diseases face the highest risk. The mortality rate is different. The flu is 0.1%. As it stands now worldwide, the mortality rate is 3 to 4 percent. You, you heard the difference there, 0.1 percent, one of a thousand, versus 3 to 4 out of 100. Uh, Seventh, so medical inter interventions are different. Antiviral drugs and vaccines are available for flu, but no new uh, coronavirus medication or treatment is currently licensed. There are medicines that do the same. Uh, so far, the mortality rates between ages 10 and 50 uh, are around 0.2 to 0.4 percent between ages 60 and 80, and between 3 and 15 percent, 15 out of 100 in 70s and 80s. Uh, is it the allergy, the flu, or the coronavirus? Basically, coronavirus uh, allergies <coughs> and flu, itchy eyes, stuffy nose, sneezing, flu or coronavirus, fever, fatigue, body aches, cough, working symptoms. Flu or coronavirus, and coronavirus shortens the breath, history of travel, and of course exposure to a patient with coronavirus. Uh, and the combination of prevention and control measures differ from healthcare setting to healthcare setting. 
uh, masks are not recommended usually in non-healthcare settings for your information, and you've seen a lot of that on the news. Uh, so that, that the introduction that I have, uh, again, uh, this is something that I have not experienced in my four years of medicine. I'll proceed through now with the, the coronavirus presentation that the state sent down to us. Uh, by the way, coronavirus COVID-19 is also being called Sir, uh, Sears, uh, SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, COVID-2. The two names are both the COVID-19 is most common. <coughs> what do we know about coronavirus? A uh, large family of viruses. Coronavirus has been around for a long, long time. We've been exposed to coronaviruses. I've, most of us have had coronaviruses. When you go to a hospital line, you get a panel that includes coronavirus, but it's not COVID-19 coronavirus. This is brand new. Brand new. There is no natural immunity in the world for that reason. Brand new virus. Uh, it's a large family <coughs> virus, as I said, and you get a, you see the panel for coronavirus. I had a situation a week ago where I called Brian Dawson, who's here this morning, uh, that we were told that a daycare uh, student had tested positive coronavirus. Uh, I, I called Brian, Brian, I'm sorry, it's his, his patient. As it worked out, it was a regular coronavirus panel, not COVID-19. So it's, it's managed totally differently. Uh, some coronaviruses, in fact, animals can spread to people and then spread person to person. We know now that coronavirus is spread person to person. Uh, there, the, it is in the family of viruses that are called the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS, and then Coronavirus Disease 2019. And they have a crown-like appearance, so that's where corona comes from. That is a uh, microscope, the electron microscopy of the coronavirus. Coronavirus disease 2019, the respiratory illness spread person to person. Uh, it's a new coronavirus, first picked up three months ago. Before three months ago, we never heard of it. Three months ago. I'm not talking about three years ago. And now it's here in the uh, and, and at the airport. You've never heard about that. The virus that causes COVID is a new virus, as I've said, that began in China. Initial cases of this is largely due to live animal market in, in China. As it spread, we've said the respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs can land in mouths or noses of people who are nearby uh, between people who are in close contact within about six feet. And if you're exposed in the words for longer than briefly, is it fine brief? It's brief is less than a minute. And I heard that definition last night. So long exposure would be anything over one to two minutes. Uh, what are the symptoms? As we said, fever, cough, short of breath, symptoms for two, for two to 14 days after exposure. The incubation period can be, is reported to be about five days. 80% of patients, as we said, have mild symptoms. Now, 80 <coughs> 15% are more severe, 5% are very severe, and, uh, and most of those are over 80 years of age. And of course, we said more cost right now worldwide today is 3% for coronavirus. Uh, in both cases, very severe cases, of course, they get pneumonia and going to respiratory and systemic body and organ failure. Uh, how can COVID-19 effectively be prevented? Washing your hands right now is considered to be the most effective. And yes, there is a technique for washing hands, that is not just putting your hands on the faucet and grabbing a piece of soap. Uh, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Yes, you ever try to do that? Then you have a couple of other things. Uh, the cover your nose with a tissue. We're not talking about coughing into your elbow right now. Try to, try to, if you can, have tissues available and cough or sneeze into a tissue. Stay home if you are sick. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. You got a flu shot if you haven't had one. We are still seeing flu. I had a patient a week ago who got flu, diagnosed as flu, had flu was out before, for four days, sick with the flu a week ago. Where do your hands been? Your hands, so if we don't have buses in Valdosta, we hold them straps. We do have exercise equipment. We, we don't have escalators that, I'm, that I can remember while I can. We do pump gas. We do use, we do look at menus. We do use, a lot of other people use our credit cards. We do use shopping carts. 
we do use and use money, cash, that other people's hands have been on. And of course, you do use the electronic equipment. And that's what they provide that's where your hands have been among other places. And bathrooms, and of course, and doors going in and out of bathrooms, and faucets, and toilets, and urinals, uh, all places that this is going to happen is going to see. Uh, the, the, there hasn't been a recommendation clearly yet about uh, elbow bumps versus fist bumps versus you know, my state. I've uh, seen all of that. Uh, I will tell you that it's going to come down to, I think, handshaking is going to be stopped. Uh, it will recommend as much as possible, and that's what we have always done. And a lot of will probably continue to think that we should do it. Hacking COVID-19 effectively prevented. Clean, frequently touch services and objects daily. What are the two of the best cleaning mechanisms? <coughs> Alcohol and the light Okay. The to the clean, uh, clean that the table countertop, light switches, door knobs, cabinet handles, uh, and clean your electronic devices. Allow the man and follow the manufacturing instructions for cleaning. So you can put anything on the damaged equipment. Should I be tested? Call your health care provider. If you feel sick with fever, cough, or difficulty breathing. You've been in close contact with a person who wanted to have COVID-19, recently traveled from an area with ongoing spread, the health care provider will work with public health and recovery and need to be tested for COVID-19. As of yesterday, there are only about 150 test kits at the Georgia Public Health Lab, meaning as of, you know, they're going to get more every day, but as of yesterday, only 150 confirmatory tests were possible at the Georgia Public Health Lab. The CDC is sending these out as fast as they can, and eventually we're going to have the ability to do thousands, hundreds of thousands, of perhaps, perhaps millions of these. But as of yesterday in Georgia, you could, you could confirm 150 cases that are reported in Georgia Public Health Lab. Uh, your health care provider will work with public health to determine if you need to be tested for, for COVID-19. People who think they must uh, have been exposed must call their health care provider before going to a provider's office, emergency department, or urgent care. Four. Very important. What do all these things mean? Community spread I means people have been infected with the virus in the area, including some who are not sure whether they can that well, how and where they can be infected. Social distancing. Buses are a place that you cannot social distance from. I can call a several food district about this. Uh, avoid local public transportation if you can. Uh, and maintaining a distance of six feet from others if possible. Uh, congregate settings are public places for close contact with many others, including churches, including stadiums, including theaters, workplaces, and schools. Incubation period refers to the time from, ex from exposure to, infective, uh, to an infected to the onset of symptoms. Isolation separates those who are sick from those who are not infected who are to avoid transmission. Quarantine separates and restricts movement of people who may have been exposed to a contagious disease that do not show symptoms. Epidemic is a rapid increase in the number of cases. Pandemic is a global epidemic. And outbreak here is the same definition as epidemic. So that definition is for, for the terms that we're using. Prepare your household for COVID-19 outbreak. Keep an adequate supply of food, water, Pet food, prescription drugs, contact your health care provider about keeping an emergency supply at home. Meet with family, relatives, and friends to discuss possible needs. Join neighborhood information web pages if those are available. Plan ways to care for people who are at higher risk, especially the very young, older people, people with chronic disease or compromised immune systems. Choose a room in your room in your house that can be used to separate family members who become sick. Uh, create an emergency contact list of family members, friends, neighbors, child care providers, teachers, and foyers. Keep a working thermometer and medications like decongestants and uh, uh, expectorants, antibiotic medicines like ibuprofen, uh, acetaminophen. Know the preparedness plans of your children's child care, schools, colleges, plan for child care should schools closed temporarily. We've already had, we, Scintilla is closing today. 
Southport, uh, Bella, just Google says we're going to play this yesterday. I just heard some help this morning on the radio when I was coming in. <clears throat> and ask about the employer's preparedness plans, including sick leave policy and telework options. Preparing for uh, schools for the outbreak of COVID-19. Review, update, and implement emergency operations plans. Communicate with school staff and parents about measures to prevent illness. Monitor and plan for absenteeism. Establish procedures, procedures for students and staff who become sick at school or arrive to school sick. Continue to perform routine environmental cleaning uh, with the with touch services, desk, keyboards, and tablets. Preparing businesses for, for outbreaks of COVID-19. Businesses should have a plan, cross-train personnel if possible, develop guidelines for, for employees to telework, assess your essential functions with lots of community has some new services and products, of course, that obviously applies to hospital property first and foremost, and they do encourage such employees to stay home Reinforce healthy behaviors, provide soap and water, and alcohol based handling. The alcohol should be at least 60% of the sanitizer. Monitor for discouraged stigma and discrimination, and, and I'll get to that in a second. Prepare for community, community preparation for community mass gathering. Meet with emergency operations coordinators or planning teams of group venues. Establish relationships with key community partners. Provide COVID-19 prevention supplies at your events, including soap, hand sanitizers, tissues. Identify actions to take should you need to postpone or cancel events. Update and distribute timely and accurate emergency COVID-19 information. COVID-19 is stigma. Uh, people, have been, and this actually was going on much more about a week ago, people of Asian descent are a lot more likely to get it. Uh, and Communicating the fact that viruses do not target the specific racial or ethnic groups that help stop stigma. Is there a vaccine treatment? No. Is there a medication treatment? No. Should I wear a mask? Only wear a mask if you're ill with COVID-19 symptoms, especially coughing, or looking after someone who may have COVID-19. Hospitals have their own plan for here and so do health departments. What about travel? CDC provides recommendations on postponing the travel of canceling travel. As you know, uh, Trump yet yeah, last night stopped all travel <laughs> from Europe to the United States in the next month, except for from um, I think the United Kingdom. Uh, it's already been stopped for Iran, Japan, Korea, uh, China, of course. Can I get COVID-19 on airplane? Uh, airplane circulates, uh, the, uh, the air circulates in the filter on airplanes, most hours and other germs do not spread as easily. Uh, I can only tell you that, that I would personally not get on a long distance airplane at, at this point. That's a personal opinion, that's not a public health opinion. That's what I would want to do. Can I get, uh, am I at risk of COVID-19 from the package of product shipped from China? There's no evidence to support transmission. They do say that the COVID virus, the virus can live up to five days on surfaces of the body. How long did the virus, oh, here's the new thing. Uh, five days is the last thing I saw this morning. Can I catch COVID-19 from my pet? There's no information of that. However, the original reservoir for coronaviruses, one of the main ones is bats, and I may have been stored in China. Who's at risk? We talked about that. Especially older persons, persons with pre-existing medical conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, lung cancer, diabetes, and uh, peer developed symptoms more, more severely as we discussed. The flu shot will not prevent it. Of course, you don't get it in the of the year, and if you don't get it by eating the Chinese restaurants. Try to stay calm and prepared. Get your information from reliable sources. Be kind, stay mindful of actions that could perpetuate stigma. Prevention, not panic. And last thought is at the end of this presentation, I'm going to open up for questions. And Courtney and Ken, you are probably going to want to participate in this. Yes, sir. And just to 